Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you, fear not. At the end of the parable of the sower in Mark 4, after Jesus had finished preaching the parable and talking to the disciples, they headed out on the sea back to where they came from. And then there's a big storm arose and Jesus is asleep in the back of the boat and they wake him up and then he says why are you so fearful how is it that you have no faith and that's what I want to encourage us today we've got Jesus in the boat with us why why would be so would we be so fearful and I want to encourage you with a scripture from Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 2 and it says well it might be down to verse 3 actually but now Thus says the Lord that created you, O Jacob, and he that formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by, by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. So, there's a lot of other scriptures like that in Isaiah. Fear not, and, and gives encouragement. And I'll just leave that one with you. But we really have no, no need to fear. And these people, they didn't have... The spirit of God in them. They had God, you know, in the temple, and they had to go there and stuff like that. And even the disciples at that time weren't born of the spirit. But Jesus was still charging them, you know, "Why are you so fearful? Where is your faith?" But we have God in us, don't we? And it says in in Timothy that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, I guess, in a way, I don't want to put people down, but we, we don't really have an excuse. But yet, many are still fearful. And, and I did, for a long time, struggle with fear too. But we can overcome that by just getting closer to God, by being more full of His Word, and, and just, like, cultivating His presence in our lives. God bless you. Have a great day.